Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be talking about emergencies. Now, as far as I'm concerned, there are no other hedgehog videos about what to do if there's an emergency. So mostly I'm going to be talking about power outages because as you guys know, hedgehogs need to be kept at a very specific temperature. But before we start, I thought I would just show you little Daisy because I didn't show her to you in the last video. So, there she is. And she is doing very well. So I thought I'd just show it to you. Okay, so, power outage. Your house is going to get cold. So, first thing, if you can move your hedgehog's cage to a higher level, then that would be great because uh, hot air rises. So if you can move your hedgehog's cage up into a higher level, that would be great. Second thing is to put a blanket over the front half of your hedgehog's cage. This will help trap some of the heat, but it won't suffocate your hedgehog. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys something that I made for my hedgehog and tell you how you could use it if you had a power outage in your house. So this is a little heating bag. It's actually a rice bag. And I used to make this for like myself, for my friends. And it's just a piece of fabric, and it has rice inside of it. But for hers, I made a little fleece cover for it. But it comes off like this. And then here's the actual thing itself. And you put this in the microwave. And then it gets nice and hot so your hedgehog can go on it and get warm. But, so you guys are probably thinking, you won't have a microwave because the power will be out. But what you can do is take a big pot of water and um, fill it up like with a fair amount of water and put it on the barbecue until it is boiling and then you want to take it back inside and put a strainer over top of it and then put the bag right inside of the strainer and then the steam rises up and it'll heat up the heating pad so if you have any kind of heating pad for your hedgehog it could be a snuggle safe heat disc or you guys could actually make a rice bag for your hedgie like this then that's what you can do and it'll also help to keep your hedgehog warm so it still will probably be pretty cold for your hedgehog so what you can do is heat up your car and take your hedgehog out to play and just like kinda sit in your car for a while with your hedgehog the nice warm so it'll kinda help your hedgehog to stay warm but if you guys have had a very severe storm and the power is gonna be out for a couple days then use your cell phone and call a friend or family member and ask if their power is still on and ask if you can leave your hedgehog with them for a few days until the power is back on because if the tr temperature drops too much then it'll get very cold and your hedgehog could go into hibernation mode and that is not good so that is really what you need to do you can also have them out with you and kind of have a blankie on them and then kind of keep them warm and one more thing if you have a fireplace then put it on it'll help keep the house warm Okay, so now about the vet. If you see your hedgehog and it is injured in any way, or it's just it's sleeping a lot, it just is acting sick, then you want to take it to the vet. So you could you should probably take it to the vet. You have to make sure you have a nice um a nice carrying case for her. I have one from PetSmart that I use for her. I haven't had to take her to the vet yet, but that's what I used when I picked her up. And you can actually um, have a heating pad to go right inside so your hedgehog stays warm because it is very important that your hedgehog stays warm especially if it's winter and you're traveling a lot but if your hedgehog is having strange behavior at all then it is a good idea to take them to the vet but it's important that you don't freak out because I mean that's not going to help at all so just um, take it to the vet or pet store that you got it from and ask them what is going on Okay, third, third and last thing. When you clip your hedgehog's nails, like all animals, it has quick. And if you accidentally cut their nail too far and you cut the quick, then their nail is going to start to bleed. And this hasn't happened to me either because I'm very careful when I clip her nails. But if this does happen to you, you cut their nails too short and it's starting to bleed, then what you can do is take a little bit of flour and put it right on their nail just like have them step in it and that should stop the bleeding you can also do that with cornstarch 
but don't use anything that you would use for humans because that is going to be very bad for your hedgehog and it's going to sting it and it's going to hurt it and it just won't be good. So hopefully you guys won't ever have to have an emergency like this when you have your hedgehog but I'm hoping this will vi this video will help you out in case you know you there is an emergency and you need to know what to do. So yeah, that's um, pretty much it for emergencies. I really hope this helped you out, especially if you have a power outage, because that's the most important one. So, no days again. <laughs> so I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you guys for being so great. You actually have my videos at a you know, pretty good amount of views. So yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Bye.